questions I can find. Great. I get started then. Are you okay? Yeah. It's just, you know, weddings. Oh, hey, listen, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. No, 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 no. I'll be fine. Honestly. Must be hard for her this now. After Rana. I've told her she needs to get away for a bit. If she wants to go travel with Imogen. So why don't she? She's just not got the money yet. Oh, where have you been? Uh, got up at four, came straight from Stoke, made some canapes. Yeah, I saw that. I just wondered where you'd gone. Oh, uh, ran out of caviar. Caviar? Is that not a bit posh? Well, I'm excited. It's Daniel and Jeanette's secret wedding. I want it to be special. Right, well, I, uh, I have a little bit of bad news for you. What's this? <laughs> Sinead's added a load more people to the guest list. She's decided she wants a massive party now. Blimey. Uh, OK, I need to go back to the wholesalers. I'll just double up on everything. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, there's something I need to talk to you about. Um, so you remember the franchise I mentioned to you on the phone last night? With various hotels? Yeah. Well, I might have said yes. I, I didn't want to tell you over the phone. I'm sorry, I was just really excited. But this is a great opportunity for us. We could make a fortune. Oh, we could have waited till I got back. Well, I just didn't want us to miss out. I mean, they were talking to other people. Like, no, I, I didn't want us to miss out. Right. Well, I, I still need to think about it. Let's discuss it after the wedding. Take over to the bistro. Can't get it ready till Daniel's gone, can I? He might twiggy for season wedding tricks. What are you two whispering about? Uh, nothing. We just didn't want a bit better. You kidding me? It's been awake since 5 a.m. He always is. So, how do you fancy lunch with me at the bistro? Oh, uh, well, I was going to take Bertie out. Yeah, bring him with you. I'll ring Bethany and book a table. I don't really want to eat where I work. How about speed down? Hey, has marriage taught you nothing? Never argue with your wife, even though legally she's not your wife. Yeah. Uh, yeah, listen to your nephew. How about you take Bertie down the Red Wreck and I'll meet you at the Bistro at 12? Hmm? <laughs> you very quiet, Bethany. Is everything all right? Well, to be honest, I'd rather be with my mum in Milan than doing a stock take with you. No offence. Oh, well, cheer up. You'll be doing Sinead's makeup in a bit, won't you? Can't wait. All right. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, and thanks for giving me the day off, by the way. Well, I just came to see how you're getting on with this wedding. Yeah, I'm um, doing OK. I just, uh, just want it to be special, you know. Yeah. Yeah, sadly I do. Cancer's a terrible thing. My daughter went through it. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Oh, she's in the clear now, thankfully, but we went through hell. Yeah, yeah, so did Sinead and Daniel. So the least we can do is give him a free reception, eh? Well, that's why I'm here, actually. I, uh, well, I'd like to help out, if that's OK. Yeah, of course. What are you thinking? Everything. Cars, flowers, the works. All on me. <laughs> are you serious? That's really generous of you. And how about old night at Chariot Square? I mean, no offence, but it's a bit more grand than this place, and they'll get good photos in the garden. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know, cos Robert planned to do all the food here. Well, my chefs will handle it. Give them the day off. Let them have a few beers, relax, enjoy the wedding. Yeah, all right, then. Yes, I mean, sounds great. I'll have to run it by Sinead, but I'm sure she'll love the idea. OK. Well, then, let's sit down and get everything sorted. There's a lot to organise, eh? All right. Hey, Bethany, can you, uh, can you just call Robert and tell him that we're not going to do the reception here anymore? No, I haven't told him yet. I know I'm going to have to at some point, but just not yet. Anyway, I'm going to have to go and speak to you later. You all right, love? Yeah, good. Hey, I got these workbooks for Hope at the market. £2.50. Ten quid each. These online. Oh, brilliant. How's the homeschooling going? Well, I've only been doing it for a day, but it's all right so far. I've had a nice lie in. <laughs> Don't have to do the school run. Might try that for Jack. Save me constantly washing shirts and PE kits. Yeah, I know, yeah. What about all the extra stuff you have to do, like trips, World Book Day? Oh, don't get me started about World Book Day. Since when was Wayne Rooney a character out of the book? It wouldn't be so bad if half the kids had read something other than football magazines and Batman comics. 
15 Batman, 15 Roonies, 30 Princesses. What's all that about? I don't know, mate. I'll tell you what it is. They're obsessed with fame. Kids don't want to do proper jobs anymore. They want to be footballers and gamers and YouTubers. I tell you, in 20 years' time, you won't be able to get your car fixed or your haircut, but you'll be able to see some Muppet playing games online whenever you want. All right, listen, calm down. It's not my mum's fault, is it? Well, I actually don't care whose fault it is. I priced these flowers to be delivered here, which is 50 yards away. Well, don't worry, because Ray's paying. What? Oh, I did these flowers at cost for Sinead. If I'd have known your fancy man was paying, I'd have charged the earth. Tracy, he's just my boss. Ooh, for now. I've got to go. Oh, thanks for the coffee. I'll see you later. Yeah. Can't believe that Ray's giving you a free do. What a legend. Uh, excuse me, I was giving her a free reception here. <laughs> You're a legend as well. You all are. Yeah, but he's a legend with a swanky hotel. Yeah, and a swanky bum. Oh, Maria? <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell me you haven't looked. <laughs> Dang, what do you think so far? <gasps> yeah, it's amazing. Oh, it's gorgeous, <laughs> thank you. I've said it before, Daniel's a lucky man. Yeah, you are such a gorgeous couple, Sinead. Um, I'm just going to pop out. I need to get confetti. Just like you and Ali, eh? Mm. We've all just got ourselves together. <laughs> Listen, I know I'm biased, but he is a very good catch. Yeah. Mm. He's dead good looking. Hey, and he's a doctor. <laughs> oh, he sounds perfect. <laughs> Come off it, ladies. He's a bloke. If he sounds too good to be true, he probably is. <sighs> Sad to part with these. <laughs> Sell by dates coming up. I had my eye on them. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? Those um, truffles and pink wafers. Well, don't eat them all at once. I made that mistake before. Oh, no, 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 they're not for me. They're, um... They're a little gift to cheer someone up. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you later. Oh. Don't mind if I intrude. Have you tried singing to him? Yeah, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Well, what songs have you tried? The usual. Um, nursery rhymes, lullabies. Do you mind if I, uh... Be my guest? <laughs> If you want my future, forget my past. If you want to get with me, better make it fast. Didn't realise you were a big fan of the Spice Girls, Brian. Who isn't? <sighs> Don't go wasting my precious time. Get your act together. We can have a good time. You're really kidding me. It's actually working. Join in. I'll so tell you what I want, what I really, really want. want. So tell, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Do you think he knows what's going on? I hope not. I want to, I want to, I really, really want to see... Brian, what on earth are you doing? Oh, I know, love. I was just getting Bertie off to sleep with a bit of girl power. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Kettle. You OK? Yeah. What were you and Cathy just talking about? Nothing. All right, OK. I'll see you in the bistro later, won't I? Will you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you booked in for 12. Sinead booked you a table. Oh, uh, no, I can't do that. I'm going away. What? Yeah, I just need to get away for the day, so I'm going to go to Blackpool. See ya. Daniel, wait! You can't go to Blackpool. Why not? Because... I need to talk to you. Well, my tram leaves in a few minutes. Can we not do this tomorrow when we're both at work? No, please. Well, I'm, I'm feeling really sad about my life and, and the article. Can we just go for a coffee? This isn't a good idea. It's just coffee. No, not the coffee. Me and you. I heard what you said to Cathy in there. Do you think he knows what's going on? No, no, that, that's not and what I you And I do think. know what's going on. I know what you want. But I'm with Sinead. OK, well, no, I'm not hitting on you. And forget the coffee, but if you don't follow me to the bistro, you might not be with Sinead very much longer. Oh, hey, sorry that took so long. The traffic was a nightmare. Can you get the rest of the boxes in? I'm going to get cracking on the food. Oh, hang on. Didn't you get the message? We're not doing the reception here now. Well, since when? Well, since earlier. Ray's offered to do the whole thing at his hotel. But this is Daniel and Sinead's wedding. I've been looking forward to it. I've, I've got a new menu. I've... Made the canapes. Well, we thought you'd be relieved. You can just relax and enjoy the wedding now. We? Yeah, me and Ray. Oh, right, like like when you and Ray cooked up your plan to franchise our restaurant. Cook anything all. It's the second time you've done this, Michelle. You've decided on something without talking to me first. Oh, well, I'm sorry. You know, it might help if you were around a bit more. I'm supposed to be your business partner. Yes, and so is Ray now. And he's paying for Daniel and Sinead to have an amazing day. I was actually trying to take some of the pressure off you. Fine. 
I'll leave you to it, though. Well, where are you going? And get me suit on. I'll call to the registry office, but I'm going to swerve the reception. I've got a few things to sort out in stop. What? Well, hang on. See you later. <laughs> oh, wow. You look amazing. That's the correct thing to say. Yeah, give him here. Here. <laughs> Please don't be cross. I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm not cross. Why would I be cross? Marrying you. That is what's happening here, isn't it? Yeah? Because if you're getting married to somebody else, I'm going to be livid. <laughs> I knew how much you wanted to get married. And I realised I was just being selfish. You can be as selfish as you want. You had cancer. Hey! This is all great, but you need to really get changed. Yeah, look, we've got suits for you and Bertie. Yeah, just a few more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad Fizzy's back. Proper Mr. Butties. Yeah, I wish you had someone to make me butties. Oh, well, I reckon Abby would. I've seen the way she looks at you. Give over. Way too old for her. She was hanging off every word you said this morning. It's on you, there's something going on there. Do you reckon? Sally said something similar a while back. I mean, she laughs at all your jokes, and let's face it, the daft. Yeah, well, so do you. Doesn't mean you want to jump into bed with me. Oh, well, you don't know until you've asked, do you? Abby, not me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you all right there, Dad? Looking a bit emotional. Well, it's a happy occasion. We don't get too many of those. I have tissues if you need them. I don't want a tissue. I'm sorry for being a cow recently. Hmm. You haven't? Well, anyway, I can see you struggling, and, and I really want us to be close again. So, got your little gift to put a smile back on that face. Hmm. Thanks, Jenny. <laughs> well, don't get too excited. I mean, it's not, it's not much, but um, I'll give it you later. <laughs> well, this is nice, isn't it? I do love a happy ending. Me too. I hope he doesn't do a Chesney, you know, and leave her at the altar. He won't. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. Well, this is fast turning into the best wedding we've ever had. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, 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 you're not married yet? Actually, they are. Well, sort of. Oh, yeah. Uh, tissue, please. Thanks, everyone, for coming. I'll see you all at the party tonight. Everyone's invited. Woo! <laughs> OK, no time for photos. We need to get into the registry office or they won't be getting married at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great to meet you. Thank you. Nothing. Yeah, do you know what? I, uh, I I just came in to book my mum in for a haircut. Oh, OK. What day? Tuesday. Wednesday. Well, make your mind up. What day is it? I better go and double check, actually. Yeah, I think you better add. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> What's he like? <laughs> You, uh, go to the wedding later? Yeah, don't really fancy it, to be honest. Nah, me neither. Look, uh, you fancy a pint in the Rovers? Yeah, sounds good. Ah, great. Uh, I've got a call out, but I'll uh, see you later. All right. So, drinks with the boss, eh? Yeah, fancy it. Don't think I'd appreciate that. <laughs> what are you on about? You two. Getting it on. Uh, no, we're just mates. I don't think Kev says it like that. I mean, he's just asked you out, you said yeah. He's going on a date. No, no, 
know this is bad. Why? I mean, you're always gazing at him and laughing at everything he says. Yeah, because he's hilarious. Oh, look, you can't tell him, but I set up a, an online thing. I've been posting the stuff Kev says. You haven't. He'll go mad. The plug's a comedy genius. People love his rants. Well, he won't love this. He'll think you're taking the mick. Mm, that's what Tim said. <sighs> Kev will hit the roof. I mean, you better get rid of this online fan page thing. And then I suppose you better let him down. Gently. So Robert just spat his dummy out and cleared off, did he? Pretty much, yeah. I think he's upset because of that raid with the reception. Well, I won't worry about it. I'll get over it. He's going to have to at some point, isn't he? We are getting married. Well, hopefully, anyway. Right, everyone, they're here. Adam. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? We all be up standing and raise your glasses for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel Osborne. Hey. Woo! Thank you. Come on. Wow. I uh, have a little announcement to make. As you all know, my gorgeous man is going to be 80 very soon. <laughs> and although it's not the grand tour that he's been dreaming about, I am going to take him to Venice. Oh, good for Ken. Not just me, though. Since I wasn't here for the first wedding, this is for you. Ooh. We're coming to. The whole family! Oh, yes, I've never been to Venice. Uh, Barlow side only, I'm afraid. I'm not made of money. Typical! This is amazing, thank you so much. Hey, can't believe that you got all of this done in secret. Yeah, well, lots of people chipped in. You know, Michelle, Auntie Beth, Kirk. Bethany played a part too. Mm. If it wasn't for her, you'd be riding a donkey and I'd be filing for a pagan divorce. <laughs> right, photos. Yeah. Riding good first. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. These are amazing. Well, I'm glad someone likes them. Hmm. How come you can back anyway? Ah, uh, well, to be honest, I was having a bad day, and, uh, well, I wanted to see you. Hmm. How long are you here for? I thought, uh, I thought I might stay over. That's okay. Yeah, of course it is. Tyler will be pleased. He likes having you around. Hmm. Oh, he's a good kid. <clears throat> well, he is now. Ah, well, thanks to you. Hmm. <laughs> So what happened at work then? Oh, you know, just stuff. Uh, it stresses me out sometimes. Mm. Well, I have an idea. Why don't we snuggle up here, you, me, and the baby, and just forget everyone else? Watch we movie. Yeah, that sounds perfect. I like our movie nights. <laughs> Earplugs, that's the answer. Oh, my Tyrone's the same. I have to put him downstairs sometimes. For the last time, I do not snore. Uh, Brian, it's like sharing a bed with a wounded buffalo. <laughs> you are so generous. I can't thank you enough. Oh, my little gift, you found it. Yeah, I did, and I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. That is the nicest thing that anyone has ever given me. Oh, Papa, he's nothing, really. That was not nothing, and I owe you the biggest gin and tonic you've ever seen. <laughs> what did you get? A thousand pounds. What? That is generous. I can't believe it. It was so lovely of you. And I've had such a hard time, and I'm sorry we've been rowing. I thought you were being selfish, but I was wrong. I miss Rana so much. And I just needed to get away, and I couldn't. And you knew. Don't get upset. No, I'm not upset. I'm happy. No. <laughs> For the first time in ages, it's all because of you. Let me get you that drink. <sighs> I am. Apology accepted. Give me a chance. 
I'm sorry for thinking that you were... Hitting on you on your wedding day. Yeah. It's fine. Nothing happened, so... Still mates? Always. Good. Hey, how's Bertie doing? Ah, he's fast asleep. Tracy's taking over. Oh, good. I'll keep her out of trouble, then. Listen, big man, um, I'm gonna move out of flat. You know, now you're officially married. It's time you guys have your own space as a family. OK, well, I'll miss you. <laughs> I will. I know I don't always show it, but I do love having you around. It can be a voice of calm when things get mad. Well, I've got a number for marriage guidance if you need it. Uh... <laughs> I'm so proud of you, you know. What you've been through. Hey, don't be getting all soppy on me now, are you, Beth? Look at you now. Married. Little baby Bertie. Oh, it's just perfect. I know. I feel so lucky. Mm -hmm. Sinead? Mm -hmm. I think I've found someone. What do you mean? Give me your hand. I think it might be a lump. Coronation Street continues in half an hour.